Thank you. Today was a day for the leadership from uh, Central Kenya, Mount Kenya region, to address an issue of extreme national importance. They say that the more things change, the more they remain the same. I have had occasion to talk about isolation and vilification of the people of the mountain region. And I remember in our days of the youth, during the struggle for independence, the Mama War, there was all the times an announcement in the radio that the Kikuyu, the Meru, na Embu, ni watu hatari, ikuena moja kipita, piga ripati kwa polisi mara moja. That was an announcement which was used to be made on the radio all the times to try to isolate the people from Mount Kenya who are fighting for their land which had been grabbed by the colonialists. These were Kenyan patriots who fought and paid a very heavy price for liberation of this country. Now it is so unfortunate that at this time and age, the Kenya has now celebrated the 60th year of its independence, that somebody should try to use the very same tactics and methods that were used by the British to try to isolate the youth from this region. There is now an attempt to artificially recreate re-establish Mungiki movement. And I've seen it happen with my own eyes. It's my own Njenga, merely because he accompanied me to the funeral of uh, our matriarch, Mukamu Kimathi, has since been vilified been harassed, they have carried out such as all his residences in uh, um, Nyandarua, in Laikipia, in Nakuru, in Nairobi, planting even some kind of evidence. Some manner they've carried a bang, at the times they're carrying uh, guns and so on, to try to vilify him and find an excuse to arrest him, to detain him. The young youth who were themselves incensed by this harassment are now being classified as Mungiki. But you have also seen Mr. Gachagua run around the whole central province talking about alcoholism among the youth, uh, uh, drugs, and delinquency and urging the chiefs and the police and the administration generally to deal firmly with this youth. Now the youth have nothing else to do. The youth are idle and that's the reason why they resort to alcoholism. The answer to this is to provide a job for this youth if the youth get something to do meaningfully, they will not be uh, drinking. But they are getting into alcoholism because of lack of anything meaningful to do. You will remember, we had brought a program when we were in government to try to put money into the pocket of this youth. Even the last regime had a program called Kazim Tani. But Kazim Mutani actually meaningfully engaged these youth. These people had said that they were going to get this youth engaged 
in tree planting and so on, they have not done anything. We used to have them cleaning the streets, garbage collection, and, and helping the community generally. And the youth were happy. They were not drinking. So Mr. Gachagua, a free advice to you.